Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be creating this look. Ooh, I am so excited about this makeup look. It's bold, it's vibrant, it's got some color going on. It's basically just a giant wing, but I still want it to be something a little bit different and have more color, like a little bit more than just like a giant winged eyeliner, you know what I mean? So that's why I went with this color. It's kind of like a turquoise bluish green shade. So I'm super excited about this look. I am creating this video in partnership with Nordstrom and I have a bunch of amazing products that I'm gonna be using in today's video. The first one, the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is the purple primer, which I know a lot of people look at it and they're like, what the heck, it's a purple primer. But it's a very like radiant type of primer. I'm gonna be using a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of the lip colors that I'm wearing, Electric Poppy, uh, along with this Tom Ford lip lacquer, which these two, the combination of these two is like, it makes me think of summer. It kind of makes me think of the Sandlot for some reason, I don't know why. Another product I'm using today is from NARS, the Wanted Cheek Palette. The blush color is like a peachy tone, but the layer, this one that I put on top, almost adds like, like a pinky purpley kind of vibe to it, and I love it. I've been all about like blush toppers lately, so vibing with that palette. So that's what we're doing today. Hey, you remember that one time I said no more wings? I'm leaving wings, was it in 2016? I think I left them in 2016. We're in 2018 now and here we are. Anyway, I'm really excited about this look and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Before I do the eyes, I'm gonna prime my face using the Becca First Light Priming Filter, the purpley derpley one. You know, purple is supposed to have like um, skin brightening properties. All right, a lot of you requested that I zoom in more, so I am zoomed in, I'm here. All right, I'm gonna start with some concealer underneath the brow because I'm really just gonna be doing one giant wing. I just wanna conceal this area here and bring it out to the outer edge here. I'm not gonna put it all over the lid because I don't necessarily need it all over the lid. I just like to conceal this part of my brow because you know, I got some freckles. Little veinage going on, there we go. Okay, next is to take the star of this eye look, basically. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, The Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Cleopatra. I'm gonna use a concealer brush and we're just gonna paint it on. First, I'm gonna focus more on the shape and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. And you're gonna wanna go just slightly above the fold in your eye. So now I gotta check this shape that's happening over here. Still got some cleaning up to do. Now that I have this shape figured out, I'm gonna go in with another layer and kinda just pat it on instead of blending it in so that way the color's a little bit more intense. What do you think? So what I wanna do actually, cause I wanna make it like a little bit more of like a blue green. I have this MAC eyeshadow. This is New Crop. It's a frost formula. It's definitely got like a lot more green in it. So the, the Cleopatra color, this is like a really cool blue green turquoise. I kinda wanna brighten it. So I'm gonna add this on top of it. And I think it's gonna have a really cool finish. I'm just gonna kinda pack it on top. Oh yeah, then I'm gonna go in with a little flat definer brush to kind of get this tail end here. And then what's cool about this look is we can just sharpen up the wing around the edges a little bit more with a concealer brush when we're done. But I just wanna get all these colors on first. All right, next what I wanna do is uh, take a little bit of black liner and I'm just gonna add it to the inner corners. This is mainly for lash band purposes. I've got this a lash glue that's just all up in my business. It's trying to ruin me. It's trying to ruin me, but it will not get the best of me. Not today. Maybe another day. All right, a little coat of mascara. Then I'm gonna pop on some lashes and we will move on to complexion before I finish up the lower lash line. Okay, next is foundation. And today I'm gonna be using the YSL All Hours Foundation. This is the shade BD40. And I'm gonna be applying it with a brush. You ever just like, you know something's on your contact, but you're just like, I'm not about to glue do both that right now. <laughs> All right, then what I like to do after I do my foundation is I take a little extra pump of the foundation, not a ton, and then the MAC Strobe Cream. This is the shade Gold Light. And then I just kind of mix them together with a brush. 
This is just to give like a little bit of a tint to the chest, but more so of a glow. So I just mix those two together and then I just kind of like skirt. This is how I like to blend in if I have, you know, collarbone out. My chest is like ultra veiny. I don't know why. It's so weird, especially when I take photos, I swear it's like, it looks like a map of something. I don't know why it's so, it's always been that way. Foundation is on. Sometimes I wonder why I sing like every step. Foundation on. Take some of my concealer, brighten up these bad boys. They need some love. They need extra love right now. Jeez. Do you hear that? I also want to take a little bit of concealer and kind of cut this and just make this ultra sharp, this wing. You know what's funny is sometimes when I'm doing my foundation and I look at it like in all this lighting, I'm like, wow, this looks really good. Like right now I'm having one of those, like, wow, this foundation looks really good. Sometimes when I do my foundation in this lighting, it's like just all of a sudden turns into struggle foundation. And it could be the same thing. It's like, I never know what kind of mood my face is gonna be in or the lighting. I don't know what it is, but it's like, can I get some consistency around here? All right, so I'm gonna take some Laura Mercier's The Translucent Powder. And you know, I like to mix it with a little of the brightening powder. I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eyes really, really lightly. And then I'm just lightly dusting. I'm not really adding as much powder as I have been. My under eyes have been a little dry lately. All right, ooh, ooh. We're liking it so far, you guys. Okay, so now for highlight, I was thinking I was gonna go with this one from MAC. I don't know if this is a new shade, but the color is so pretty. You can tell it's kind of got like an iridescent sheen to it. It has a little bit of reflex in it, and I was like, whoa, girl, pump the brakes. You're doing like green eyeshadow. Maybe just keep it calm on the highlight. So I'm gonna be using my old school Oh Darling highlight. It's such a good highlight. You can't go wrong, really. I remember when I was trying to order this when it first came out and it like, it just kept selling out nonstop. It was like insane. I think it was like two years ago. All right, so now for blush. This is the NARS Wanted Cheek Palette. Look at this. We've got all sorts of colors in here. Now, if I was maybe doing a nude lip, I would probably go in with one of these two colors. I was like, I'm gonna go in with this one, but I'd probably go in with this one. But since I'm gonna be doing a really bold lip, I'm gonna go in with these two colors up here. So I'm gonna start with this one and then I'm gonna add the sheen on top. You know, I've been stepping out with my blushes lately. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I have. It's always like my favorite part of makeup, I think. Blush and then the under eye highlight, brightener, concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this one, more of like a sheen highlighty kind of color and I'm just gonna dust this right on top of the apples of the cheeks. I used to only be a, ooh. See, it's so pretty. I used to only be about like matte blushes and now I'm just like, pff, just put it everywhere, you know? Shit, I almost forgot. Dang. I still haven't found my liquid bronzer. I swatched a lot of them and I just like, it wasn't vibing, it wasn't the right tone. Maybe it wasn't the right consistency, I'm not sure, but I haven't found a bronzer, like a liquid or cream bronzer that I'm really all about yet. I'm just gonna do a little bit of my Laguna. That NARS cheek topper, I'm already, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. It's kind of got like a little bit of a pinky, almost a lavendery hue to it. And it's giving me life. All right, so now we gotta figure out the lower lash line. What do we wanna do with the lower lash line, you guys? I'm gonna start with this MAC pencil. This is the color Minted, which is very similar to this top eye color. And I'm gonna add this to the waterline. Wow, look at this. That liner color is so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I'm gonna take some of that Charlotte Tilbury color and I wanna do a little bit more of a fluffier brush. This one, which I'm gonna clean quickly here and I'm gonna smudge it on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna smudge it out with this and then again, I'm gonna go over it with that same, the matte color and use that to kind of like buff it out because this is a cream. What's nice about this cream though is that it's a very, it's like a very soft cream. You know, it's not like really sticky or chunky. It blends out really nicely and you can layer it, which is great. And now using the same brush, I'm gonna use the MAC Shadow, the new crop. This color is so cool. It's like, this is green. This, this is green. And then I'm just gonna kind of pack and buff it on top. I also feel like lavender is a really hot color right now, like an eyeshadow color. I need to do like a lavender one. Okay, now we're gonna do the lipstick. And you know, I could play it safe and do a nude, but I'm not going to, or like a peachy color, but we're gonna go 
really bold, vibrant. So I'm gonna line the lips with, this is a MAC Chic Trick lip liner. Next is the lipstick, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Electric Poppy. You see that? Do you see that? And the gloss I'm using is Tom Ford Lip Lacquer in the shade Erotic. Oh, and mascara for the lower lashes before I forget. So that wraps up this tutorial. I think this is a really fun way to incorporate a lot of color. If you, maybe you don't want to do it all on your eyes, like different colored eyeshadows, you know. I'm loving it paired with the bright, bold lip, especially very shiny, very lacquery. It looks like wet paint and I love it. So this look was a lot of fun to do. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. God, I get so loud. Nobody was gonna tell me I had lipstick on my teeth, huh? For brr, brr, brr. Oof. Oof. Uh, liquid blends with powder. There's something in my eye. Why? Why? Yes!